So this is the international headquarters of the Salvation Army, who are a Christian organisation based here in London. This building was designed by Shepherd Robson Architects and completed in 2005. The building occupies a nice spot. It's very close to St Paul's, which is just up there, and then also leads down onto this pedestrianised way, which goes onto the Millennium Bridge. Uh, the building is mainly office space on the upper levels and then there's also some public facilities on the ground floor. Building uh, materials are mainly glass on the elevation, uh, which is great because it allows in lots of natural light, but it also potentially leads to problems with overheating and glare inside. Yeah, this is a really glassy building. It's pretty much 100% glazed, which is unusual in London. Uh, and it's. They're making a statement with the glass here, so it's saying we are a transparent organisation. You can look through from the outside into the building and see what's going on. Uh, here, it's also useful for us because we can see the structure, so there's a concrete structure you can see inside. This is quite unusual. It's got a chapel uh, just above the door where they have louvers angled to let the light in. So mostly you're trying to keep the light out with these louvers, but in this case, when you're sitting in the chapel, the reflection is such that you're looking straight up at the sky which is a really nice effect. One of the strategies that the building uses to prevent issues with too much light getting in is by using fritting on the glazing. So you can see on the upper levels, uh, the panes of glass have been printed with a white uh, kind of opaque finish, which acts as a kind of shading to block some of the sunlight um, and just allow it enough to make a kind of nice ambient, naturally lit space inside. Yeah, they've got a bit of a pattern on this one as well. So they've. Uh, thought about instead of having it even all over there's a gradation so you're getting a constant change of shading which is quite a nice effect as well. For these efforts the building was nominated for an RIBA award for religious architecture in 2005.